Heart Walk, uh, April the 6th, starting at 8 a.m. at the Colonial Life Arena. Uh, Heart Walk is our community activation event uh, for the Midlands. Uh, we we're really able to engage with the community, um, our companies, survivors, and families uh, to really share the messaging of the Heart Association and to help people become more aware of the importance of heart health. So we know that one in three people are going to be diagnosed with heart disease, um, and that's just not a number that we're okay with. Currently in the Midlands, we have enough people to fill williams Bryce Stadium um, just over four times who have high blood pressure, which is just over 300,000 people. And why that's important to us is because that's a controllable um, contributor to overall bad heart um, health. And so we know that if we can help educate people, um, then that's going to help us uh, change the footprint here in the Midlands of what heart health looks like. We have just over 60 companies that are participating in our Heart Walk event this year. Um, and then the community obviously is always welcome. And so we have about five to 6,000 people that come to our event each year. And um, why that is also important to us is because that's 5,000 people that we can get our messaging out. Um, we can really help them take an active participation in their overall heart health, uh, which is so important to us. Um, we don't exist um, without our volunteers helping us to get that messaging out, um, but also our survivors and those families who are there to help people understand that you can take that um, active participation because 80% of heart health uh, or heart disease is preventable. Um, and so that's a number that we really want to continue to help people understand that they can take that part in making that lifestyle change. So it's all excitement. Uh, it's really a day of celebration. Uh, as I mentioned, we have our survivors, we have our families who are there. Uh, we get to celebrate those who are still hanging out with us and uh, really continuing to walk strong and remember those who might not be there with us. Um, and then we really have the community to be able to rally around those families um, and around this idea of heart health as we walk downtown and and you bump shoulders with somebody that you might not know and have that conversation um, to really build that sense of community with each other um, because we know that people sometimes think that they're alone in this um, and hopefully the heart walk is a way that they can see that that's not the truth. Um, when they get to see again these 5,000 people walking down this walk and they say hey they've been touched by this too it helps to kind of bring that family unit together. Uh, so we like to get things kicked off early uh, so our expo area opens at 8 a.m. and all that means is uh, we have several sponsors and supporters uh, that are activating some of our uh, heart messaging and so people get to go around and um, have their uh, blood pressure taken, learn about healthy eating, uh, the idea of getting out and moving more and being more active in their life. Uh, and then the walk takes place just around 9 a.m. where we leave and it's a three and a half mile or one mile walk downtown um, where you get to walk across the Gervais and Blossom Street Bridge and really have a beautiful setting in the background. Um, but it's really a really great time for our community to come together even though it's a little early in the morning. MidlandsHeartWalk.org uh, is the best place to go um, to sign up your team to get more information. We have our office number there where we have a great team that's ready to answer any questions. Um, and then for the day of the event, we invite people to just come and join us. Uh, we, it, it's a ton of fun. It's a great event. Um, and we really just encourage um, everybody to bring family and friends to really get to experience uh, what the event's all about.